Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. This video is my second look at the plugin Admin and Site Enhancements, or ASE. In this video, I'm looking at customizing the WordPress admin using the plugin. It sometimes happens that you want to customize the WordPress admin, maybe for your own sanity, or more likely because you have multiple users on your site. Maybe you have a membership site, or you have a learning management site, or you have multiple authors who are publishing. And in those cases, you might want to customize the admin so as to streamline the user experience, limit what other users see, and what they might have access to. Here we are in the WordPress plugin directory. You can see the admin and site enhancements has a free version. You can see that it is kept regularly up to date, and it has now more than 20,000 active installs. When I did my first look at the plugin back in October, this number was at 10,000. So you can see the plugin is gaining popularity as more people are discovering it and using it. Now, this is the website for the pro version of the plugin. And if we go and look at the features that are available, you see there are 55 modules in total, 37 in the free version, 11 free modules that have pro features, and seven modules that are pro only. These are the categories and these are the modules here. As you look at the types of features that the plugin offers, hopefully it's becoming clear that ASE is providing features that often you might find in a standalone plugin or a code snippet. So we're going to focus mainly on the features of this admin interface category. So let's go down to that group. And we see a free with pro features is clean up the admin bar, free hide admin notices, free disable dashboard widgets, free with pro features hide the admin bar, free wider admin menu, free with pro features admin menu organizer, pro feature admin columns manager, and free enhanced list tables. All right, so now let's go to a testing site and take a look at some of these. You can see I have some demo posts, a couple of custom post types here. Go to the dashboard and plugins. I have Admin and Site Enhancements Pro installed. The free version is not required when you're using Pro, so that's nice. You don't have to have two plugins active. I've got a learning management system plugin for courses, which gives us a menu item here. I have a backup plugin. I have Cadence Blocks. I have Metabox and Metabox all in one here for creating these two custom post types. And I have a portfolio plugin. So when we have ASE activated, we get a menu item under Tools for Enhancements. And so you see there are these different tabs here. Content Management, Admin Interface, Login, Logout, Custom Code, Disable Components, Security, Optimizations, and Utilities. Now we're going to be looking at what these features give us here, but as we enable and disable these different features and then go check to see what happens, we're going to be coming back to the ASE menus a lot. So we can use a few ASE features to make this process easier for us. And one of them is the custom code feature. So I'm going to turn on Snippets Manager and Save. And now we get this Code Snippets menu item here. All code snippets, CSS, JS, HTML, and PHP. Okay, so I'm going to do Add ASE to Admin Bar. And I'm just going to paste in a code snippet that I put together. What this is doing is if the user cannot manage options, which is an admin function, then return and don't do anything. Otherwise, it drops down here where we add to the site name, which is this, this menu here, a URL to go to ASE. 
And this is the admin URL, tools, PHP, page equals admin site enhancements. And I got this URL by hovering over here and looking down in the footer down there. You can see the URL there. I'm going to publish this. Okay, and then we see now we have our menu item and it works. Okay, so that's going to help save us a little bit of time now. And then another feature that we can use that can help us in customizing the admin is there's a utility here called view admin as role. And what this does is it allows us to take a look at how the admin's going to look to different user roles without actually having to create users and all those roles and log in and log out. So I'm going to turn that on. And some of these, when you enable them, you get some extra information that shows there. They might be options or just, you know, some information. And here it's letting you know that if something goes wrong when you're in another role, you could get locked out of the admin. Like, for example, if our custom code that we had written had a bug in it. And so there's a URL to reset, and then you can re-log in and get back in as admin. So I'm going to save the changes, and now we see here's this view as option. Okay, and you can view as editor, author, contributor, subscriber, academy student, or code snippet editor. Here are some different roles that we can test, and note that it doesn't have the admin role there, okay, because we are admin. Let's see what a student would see by clicking here. Lo and behold, we want them to see their profile so they can go and change their password. But look, it gives them an option to see all posts or add a post for portfolios, for book authors. You see the comments menu here for audiobooks, for tools, for Metabox. And so probably what happened is that this role has the ability to create and edit posts. That's not something I think you normally want for your course student. So that's one thing we can see right here that's kind of screwy that we want to fix. Another thing is that there are these dashboard items here. We'd like to get rid of them. You can do screen options and just unclick these, but then the user can still go in and click them if they want to. So that's another thing here that we want to fix. So I'm going to go back now to administrator view. And so let's go to ASE and let's go to the admin interface and see what kind of tweaks we can make. So here's some options to clean up the admin bar. For example, we can remove this howdy, which doesn't look very professional. We can remove the WordPress logo menu. That's this menu over here that gives you info about WordPress and takes you to WordPress.org website. I've never used this. Certainly our students wouldn't need that. So we can get rid of that. And then you could decide, like here's remove new contents menu. This thing here, we could get rid of that probably too. Here's the thing for the number of comments. We could remove that. We could remove the updates counter link. There aren't any now, so nothing shows there. And then here are some other things you can do from third-party plugins. But let's just go with this and see what that gives us. There we see we've lost the WordPress menu item. We've lost the comment count thing. We no longer have this howdy. So that's one little cleanup done. Now we can hide admin notices. That makes sense. You know, sometimes plugins show admin notices all over the place. So let's save changes there and see when we do that, we get, I don't know if you saw that panel flash, that word notices flash there when we did that. But let's just go to the plugins menu. See it said notices up there. Let's deactivate this one. Okay, and now it stays because there's a notice. And if we click it, we get this extra panel with the admin notices there. That's the admin notices item. Let's go back to ASE, clean up the dashboard widgets. So let's turn that on and we can expand and we can just disable all of these. Save changes. 
and let's hide the admin bar for Academy students on the front end. Okay, so we'll save changes. Let's go see what differences we've made. We cleaned up the dashboard here. If we go to screen options, we don't see an option to show them anymore. We got rid of the howdy. We got rid of the WordPress menu. We got rid of the comment count option. Let's go to the front end. And the admin bar is gone now. That's another good step. Now let's see if we can get rid of some of these menu things for the Academy student. So let's go back to view as admin. Go to ASE. Okay, here's wider admin menu. If you want that, you can turn it on and you can make the menu a little bit wider. Let's save and see what that looks like. Okay, so if you want that, then you can do that. Here is admin menu organizer. So let's turn that on and click expand. So now we have items here. We can move items around. We can reorganize the order they're in, but what we can't do, we can't move a top level menu inside of another top level menu. So we could move all of the third party plugins under tools or settings. That's, that's not possible here. Let's see what we do want to do is we want to go to posts. We want to hide for some user roles and we want to hide posts for Academy student. What was another one? We want to hide comments for Academy student. <clears throat> Book authors. We want to hide that for Academy student. The same with the author books. And what else did we have? We had Metabox was another one there that was showing. And let's let's do this one as all roles except administrator. Okay, let's save this now and Let's check and see how much of a cleanup we've done so far. Okay, so we now just have the tools and the portfolio to remove. Okay, so let's go back to admin and let's go back to the menu organizer. And let's see, we want to hide tools, academy student, and portfolio we wanted to hide for Academy student. Okay, now let's go view as Academy student. Okay, and now the user can only go and change their password, you know, profile information. Mission accomplished on that. Let's go back to the admin. Okay, now let's go back to ASE and let's turn on these two items for managing the columns and the lists for, you know, posts and different post types and stuff. So I'm going to turn these on. Here, if you set these here, it's kind of global, but just having this on, we'll be able to set them also on a post type by post type basis. So that's what we'll do. So first, let's go look at posts. Okay, so this is kind of what you might normally see. But what's different here, one is we have this bad thing for the portfolio is putting this for every post type, which is really bad. Let's get rid of that portfolio plugin. All right, let's go back to posts. And now we have this manage columns button. Okay, and so what this does is it allows us to reorder, to add from the default WordPress options or from custom fields. But these are for our books and book authors, so we'll leave those. Let's look at the order. We have title, author, date, comment count, categories, and tags. While tags isn't being used, there are no tags. So let's get rid of that. And then let's add featured image 
and the ID, and you might want last modified. Let's see, you know, you might want status and whatnot, but let's just stick with these and we'll save. Now, if you wanted to keep going, we could just go and move to a different post type, but let's just go to posts now. Here's our ID. Sometimes you need that, you know, like if you're using ACF or doing some custom coding or something. Here's the featured image, and here are our categories. I think we can turn comment count off also. Okay. So there's our enhancement for the posts. Okay, so now let's go to the audio books. And let's go manage columns. And let's add the featured image here. Genres is already showing here. This is an option in Metabox when you set up your categories or custom taxonomies. You can show them if you want. We can add the ID. Let's see. That looks pretty good for the default ones. But now for books, let's see what we can add here. Let's add reviewer rating under title. And let's add book author relationship just to see what that gives us. Go back. Here's the ID, here's the featured image, we have the reviewer rating, and we have the author showing from the book author relationship. Awesome, awesome. Now let's go to book authors. And here we're showing the title, the date, and the excerpt. So let's go manage columns here. And let's add again our featured image. And let's see, so we're on authors. We can do the book author relationship here. Let's move the excerpt up. Book author relationship. And then there is a social media sites. This is like a group field, Metabox group field that has subfields. So it's like an ACF repeater and we'll add that as well and save changes. Now let's go look at book authors. Here's the featured image, the title, the excerpt they published. Here it's showing the books that the author has written that we have here added. And here it's showing that repeater type field and you can see this author has an Instagram link and a Twitter link. And this author has a Twitter, a Facebook, and a Reddit link. And he has two books and he has one. So this is really cool the way it's showing us these Metabox fields and it's supporting the relationship and the repeater fields. And we're using Metabox on this site, but it works the same way with ACF. So very nice feature here. That is our look at the admin interface features of ASE. I hope you found this useful. I hope it'll help you to know more about the admin and site enhancements plugin, about how to use it and some of the features. You know, we've used what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We tested eight, custom code nine, utilities 10. We tested 10 features out of 55 in total. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. If you did, it would help if you gave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.